your county hero status at Leeds United. Wait. And the nickname, obviously, that you got, the Chief, you yeah. know? You know, I think that is something that shows, you know, in terms of how much of a footprint that you left at Leeds United, you know? I, I, how do you feel about the way you've been, I don't want to say idolized, but the way you've, uh, they've paid dues to yeah. what you have contributed to the team of Leeds United, where, where people are naming their children. After Lucas Katev and saying, you know, my son, my son's name is Lucas. After Lucas Katev, how does that make you feel? <laughs> it's good that they're not mine. I want to say that. You've with me for the longest time. But, <laughs> but I want to say, for some of the guys, you know, the great thing is that is the banter between the players and stuff. Yeah. And, and the players would say, ah, because there's, there was a, like a, 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 a township where we used to go, like, like predominantly black. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's mixed, but uh, uh, black. And they say some of the guys they still because I still talk to them today. Uh, some of uh, my ex person they say, "Ah, we saw a boy with dreadlocks running about. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you." <laughs> and I'm like, "Give them five pounds if you see them." <laughs> <laughs> but, it's crazy. but 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 that's but that's that shows that it's not. It was not just because people had that thing when we play football. You know, we are like monks. You know, we don't have a life. This life, we have to live. And you get to know your teammates. You get to know opposition. You get to, you get to know uh, the community you live in. You know, you get to adapt and acclimatize, which, you know, everyone surrounding you made, makes it easy for you to, to do it, coming from, 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 from South and, and, and And to be honest, it wasn't just about football. Yeah, you know uh, what I've learned. There was a lot of people, uh, actually, even before that, because when I arrived, there was a history of Jerry Francis. There's a guy called Jerry Francis, yeah. South African, who played for Leeds. Oh yes. There was a guy called Albert Johansen, who was from South Africa, Benoni or somewhere. Mm. He played for Leeds. Even he's the first black guy to play in the FA Cup. Yeah, in the FA Cup. Old FA Cup. Yeah. And absolutely brilliant, you know. And and I think for us to come there because I was unlucky, me and Phil, not to see him because we we were still alive, living in his party, not in good health, uh, and and died uh, uh, maybe like a few weeks when we got after the guys arrived. Yeah. When we got there, and it was it was heartbreaking. But again, we felt that there's a legacy there. You know, but, and that's how they took us in, you know, uh, with the Yorkshire, you know, we were Yorkshire people, we had to learn to speak, we had to learn to, learn to listen <laughs> with that, the accent that they had. And the worst part is that there's the Irish guys, the, the Scottish, and they're like, ah, oh, come on. You know, when they, when they speak, like, slow down. <laughs> so we can, can just, so we can yeah, we want to listen. We want to hear what you guys say, because they couldn't, even when we speak, we were well, African accent, we're like, very strong. <laughs> <laughs> but so, but it was amazing. I mean, we had a, a great laugh, you know. Uh, and once it gets to to the grind, uh, it, it was tough. Uh, I, I wouldn't say it's a lot. I think it was it was hard, but 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 benefited a lot, you know, uh, for my own good. Uh, the training. I mean, I wasn't used to training in the morning and in the afternoon. It was terrible. It was it was running. It was playing football, it was the condition, the weather conditions, it was snowing, it was raining, it was cold. And you're staying away from home for, for a long time. And, and, and that's one thing that helped me to settle down with it, bringing uh, then my girlfriend over. You know, uh, and I've always said to, to these young boys here, I said, if you go overseas, go with someone, take. Someone, but get married, otherwise they, <laughs> you, to, you can't they just take someone. Just take someone. <laughs> No, no more about get 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 married. Yeah, get the thing. Yeah, but that helps a lot to stabilize the game and actually concentrate, you know, in the game because uh, it, uh, it can be brutal. Yeah, it can be brutal. But 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 you learn a lot, you know, from the Yorkshire people. You know, their culture, their tradition. You know, football is the religion, and you know they have set, settled well. Uh, until I get my own place. And to be honest, with the injuries that I've had, I never thought 
I'd spend that long with the weather conditions that you had to enjoy. It was quite difficult, but ended up staying there for 12 years. Wow, wow, wow. And, and I, I read somewhere where uh, Stuart Dallas uh, oh, yeah. was, was the first player since you to make 250 appearances in all competitions for Leeds United. So imagine since 2003, 2005, for 16, for 16 years, there hasn't been a player who has reached 250 appearances for Leeds United. That shows. You imagine that. Eh? Oh, I, I don't that's know. why I had like a testimonial. I was one of the first players in a long time to have a testimonial. Wow. Wow. To be awarded wow. the testimonial, which was absolutely amazing. I mean, that's how. I mean, this my contribution was just to play football. But we were we again, as I said earlier on, it wasn't just football. It was what you bring to the club. And luckily, I was from South Africa. People wanted to know how did I end up in England? You know, coming from Soweto because obviously. Everything that was uh, uh, that they knew about South Africa, so it was riots, exactly. party, and all that, yeah. and all that. So, so you know that created a platform for me, you know, to have a, a, a program at the club called Learning with Lucas. Oh wow! Yeah, which was uh, which was uh, uh, derived by by some of us, South by me, and some of the players and the officials at the club was. It was absolutely amazing because it was right inside in the stadium and everyone only the youth the school kids after uh, and they were, they were learning about me and were learning about the number five jelly you know learning about south africa so i had to tell them the languages and how it was because they were raising good questions as well so i had to do the young offenders which was very scary as well because yes. you go inside with them it's the questions were hard. So what, what, what's your current involvement with Leeds United? Uh, as an ambassador, actually, uh, at the moment in Tokyo, because, you know, the amazing thing is that after all those years and all the changes that happened at the club, you know, we, there's not, at all, maybe I know two people now. Wow. <laughs> Everything, everyone. There's been a lot of changes. Yeah. There's a lot of changes. And, uh, and luckily, you know, uh, we still kept that uh, uh, um, the relationship, which for me it's something that I took with with the brands that I partnered with. That uh, we rather have a relationship with just to get to know them better, get to do things even better. So, so, so the, the chairman uh, Andrea uh, is married. He married to a South African woman. Okay. Which uh, it's another it's another link, <laughs> you know. It's always a forever link with the, South Africa. Yeah. Always, and and uh, and now we because of COVID, it, we, I was unable to go and watch because I was going there every every year twice a year uh, as a as a as a um, the the chairman's uh, uh, visitor, you know, uh, and and <laughs> what a reception! Always, I mean, it's. I feel that that's my first, that's my home. It's this your home. Is my second home. Yeah, it's you know, true. And I've made, I've made friends. I've made my family was made comfortable, and 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 you know, acknowledging the fact that I wasn't just there for football for the money, you know, you know, and appreciating that, you know, they've got their own way to show it, you know, and it's the songs they sing. You know, it's it's absolutely amazing. You feel, so you feel you feel the love. You feel the love. So so at the moment what we're trying to do is to whether because they wanted me to be an ambassador uh, for the club, you know, uh, but they wanted me to stay there. So so we're still trying to see how you can Yeah, out. we can we can live or we can actually see if there's any synergies that we can exploit from there.